So we have a digital bore micrometer here. This one is able to measure diameters from one inch to an inch and three eighths. So we are going to use a calibrated ring gauge to zero this micrometer. So we're going to insert the bore mic into the ring gauge and rotate the spindle clockwise until the ratchet clicks so that we don't put excess pressure on the surface. So now the readout says negative 1.2 and change inches, which is not the value on the gauge. So we're going to hit the mode button until pre preset comes up and we hit set to enter. So the minus is flashing on the end, so we're going to hit set. So that it switches to plus, so now this is a positive value. Now we're going to hit mode to cycle through the different decimal places here. So we have one, which is what we want. So we hit mode again, three, which is correct. If we wanted to change these values, then we would hit the set button and cycle through. So we want that to be a three. Seven is correct, four is correct, nine is correct, and zero is correct. So now we just hold the mode button and the value is recorded. So now our micrometer will read correctly. on the internal bore of this gauge within five ten thousandths, no, five one hundred thousandths of an inch. Cool. I'm gonna measure the O-ring. Yeah. yeah. So, for example, if we want to measure this bore, we would rotate the spindle counterclockwise to retract the anvils, insert the head of the micrometer into the bore, and turn the spindle clockwise until we feel the resistance and we get a click, and then we're just going to wiggle the micrometer to make sure that nothing is slipping so that we know that all the anvils are sitting flush and flat against the internal bore. And since the ratchet is clicked, we know that we're all good. So we have a measurement of 1.248 inches on this internal bore. Cool.